confusion, oh, it's exciting. <laughs> Having worked on ITER and JET in the past, it's nice to work on something that's kind of moving along quicker. My name's Damien Lockley, I'm a CAD designer here, and I'm working mainly on the diagnostics and building layout. The diagnostics tell us where the plasma is, how strong it is, its position and where it's moving to. At the moment I'm working on some shields, graphite shields, for the connectors, the electrical connectors, at the top and bottom of the centre tube. This shady bit here is one of the graphite shields. This is to stop the plasma strikes on the delicate instruments and there's a pin that holds it on. There's still a in progress, this particular one. These pieces we're working on now, and we hope to have them made and assembled within months. Making something new for the first time, yes, it's, it's working with a, a blank sheet of paper. In some ways, yes, it's difficult because we've got no hardware to compare with. We're working completely virtual basically. So we're having to work amongst each other, using each other's models. It's a kind of jigsaw puzzle, we're working on a piece each and there's a sort of overall view of what's going on. We try and keep abreast of what each other's doing. Well the machine itself is pretty small compared to a jet or ITA. Equipment has to go in through the ports and because of the size of the machine a lot of things have to be pre-assembled before the vessel gets put together space constraints. That's what makes the job difficult and challenging and fun. <laughs>